Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. You know, there's nothing worse than trying to set the height of a tool, a new tool, and hearing that annoying little ticking sound, and you just know that you just blew the edge off of a brand new cutter, and that little click cost you 50 bucks or 60, 70, whatever it cost you for the cutter itself. But when you hear that little ticking sound, you know you're done. And if you don't have a tool probe on your machine, and my machine does not, I would like to share with you a technique for setting your tools or a technique that I use for setting my tools that works very well. Now I'm not a career CNC guy and if you are by all means please share in the comment line below how you set your tools without a tool setter and uh, we might learn something from each other. Let me show you how I do it. Okay let's say you have a half inch or whatever size cutter that you have. It's about a $50 cutter. Carbide, two flute, four flute, it really doesn't matter over to your machine and set your machine to jog. Put it on the coarsest setting that you have on your adjustables and move the cutter over to the part. And sit this down so you don't get seasick. Okay, now initially, when I was first setting up my tools, I would use a feeler gauge under the, under the cutter, but as you're coming down with this cutter, too much pressure on a feeler gauge, a thick one, a thin one, whatever, is still going to blow the corners off of your part. So what's the solution? This is a 10 thou thick feeler gauge. It could be any thickness, but because the coarsest adjustment on my uh, Z jog is 10 thou, I'm going to use a 10 thou shim. I'm going to put it underneath my cutter and I'm going to come down with the spindle and watch the gap in the front of this get closer to the part. When it gets close, I'm going to remove this, get a little closer. You know it fits under the part, so you know that this cutter is at least 10 thou above that part. Take the feeler gauge out and come down one more. Nothing. One more, still not hanging up. Okay, now it doesn't go in. Get back over to your dial, and you can set it on a thousandth or a tenth, it really doesn't matter. It depends on the accuracy of the part or the accuracy of the height that you're looking for. I'm gonna put mine on a thou. Now instead of coming down, I'm going to go up with the spindle. There's one, there's two, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I am right there. At ten it slips through. So that cutter was very close to being on the on deck, but it wasn't there. Now I'm setting it back to a tenth. And I'm going to come back down with the spindle until I like the drag that I feel on the on the block. But do not put anything under the cutter while you're coming down with it. All right, when you have just the minimal amount of drag, let's get back over here. Set it to X or Y. It really doesn't matter. Ten. Get off the part. Now set it to Z. You're still on 10 because that's the thickness of your feeler gauge. And come on down with your spindle 10 thou. There you go. When you go to your manual, set length is number five, hit the Y, yes. Now physically, this tool is still positioned 10 thou above the part physically. But in the tool table, the registration value puts that tool right on deck with that part. Use a feeler gauge, don't come down through any solid surface, feel it underneath, go until it stops, come up until it slides, and then dial it in. Great trick, has saved me a ton of money. Try it out.